Justina Walford. I am the festival director for Women Texas Film Festival. Thank you so much for joining us on our first ever fully online festival, uh, our fifth festival overall. Uh, it's been an incredible journey, all brand new. It has been amazing having these Q&As and panels where our international filmmakers can join us. It's been wonderful being able to share our Q&As and panels with everybody on YouTube and Facebook and, and really a gift to be able to share these amazing films to everyone in Texas. So now it is time for the awards, which unlike the other awards ceremonies, we're all doing it in the comfort of our homes in our sweatpants, maybe drinking coffee. So with no further ado, let's move on to the awards. Special Jury Mentions Outstanding Acting, Olivia Matas of Replica Honeymoon, directed by Amy Aniobi The Leader Award for Directing goes to Olivia Peace with Tahara. What Olivia did with Tahara was so exciting and fresh and resourceful. I really can't wait to see what she does next. I thought that there was clearly a great collaboration between her, the writer, the actors, um, and you know the producing and, and cinematography. It, it seemed like it was really cohesive around her vision. The Radical Award for Daring Filmmaking goes to A Whore Like Me, directed by Sharon Yaish and Yael Shakar. When you talk about radical filmmakers, I felt like A Whore Like Me was truly radical and the way that it handled the content and the access that the filmmaker had to um, the subject was so exquisite that it, it really speaks to how, um, how fantastic they must be to collaborate with because the vulnerability of the subject and the fact that you showed such a flawed, beautiful, full person dealing with that trauma, it, it gave a really great perspective on that subject. Um, and I felt like everything about it was was radical, and I'm I'm I was also so moved by it. The storyteller award goes to Tracy Lehman, writer and director of Ghosted, a writer that shows a confidence in theme and understanding of her craft that took us on a journey of the birth of a new relationship and how it's forged from the remnants of the past we hold on to. The Best Short Film Award goes to The Paint Wizard, directed by Jessica Wolfson and Jesse Arrett. The film's profile of Millie embodies the spirit of Texas while asking challenging questions on the norms and labels locals and outsiders place on others. And the Best Feature Award goes to Far East, Deep South, directed by Larissa Lamb. Uh, it's such a touching story. It starts with a personal story uh, and lead all the way to a new world, uh, which is Chinese Exclusion Act. Um, this is uh, a history that is seldomly, uh, seldom touched in the history book. Um, I think cinematically this film is so maturely done uh, and uh, it's definitely worth watching whether you're on your own or with your family. Um, so to the film crew I want to say well done and to the audience of our film festival I want to say uh, strongly recommend it. Thank you.